Hey, everybody. John Skiba here from the Arizona Consumer Law Group. I'm also founder of the Consumer Warrior Project, which is designed to give people information they need as they go through some pretty serious debt problems. Today, I'm excited to announce a new service that we're offering here at my law firm, which is helping people with tenants' rights in a landlord-tenant type relationship. Uh, this is something that I, you know, we've always represented consumers when it came to credit card debt, bankruptcies, debt collection lawsuits. But as I sat in court the other day, you know, I was watching a one of the calendars that they do here in the local justice court with uh, landlord-tenant evictions. And, you know, what they do is they set aside a whole morning or a whole afternoon several days a week where they hear nothing but evictions and just one after another they were rubber stamping these things, evicting people, entering judgments for thousands of dollars against them. Uh, the, ten the landlords had their attorneys there. None of the tenants had an attorney or any kind of a legal representation whatsoever. And it was clear that most didn't really have any idea what their rights as tenants were under the Arizona Landlord Tenant Act. And this is one of those situations, I see it in debt collection cases as well, where I feel like the, the pendulum has swung so far in favor of the landlords that the tenants are just getting steamrolled most of the time. The landlords are just, you know, they're going to assert every imaginable right they have and even some they don't have <laughs> against tenants. And the courts are, for the most part, l literally rubber stamping them, just sitting up there one after another signing off on these judgments. And I'm listening to the, ten the landlord's attorney stand up, and they're not even presenting any evidence. They're, they'll say something like the, they're offering the standard avowals. Uh, which I understand there's a, some you know short uh, shorthand kind of things we do in the law. But at the same point, the standard of vows, they're not talking about the formation of the agreement. They're not talking about the breach. They're not talking about anything other than that we want our money and we want an order to evict these people, regardless of what's going on. So uh, with that in mind, we started offering now these services, which how it's set up is we are offering a telephone consultation. And these are paid. It's not an... Ex not a ton of money, but these are paid consultations where you can call into the office if you're dealing with a landlord-tenant type issue, and we can provide you with some information and some guidance as far as how the court process works, what you can expect from it, and how you can assert some of the rights if a landlord is not complying with the lease. The common areas that we see the phone calls already coming in uh, relate to like the deposit. You know, Are you entitled to get your deposit back? Can the landlord keep part of the deposit? What we see often is we see many landlords who try to remodel their properties on the backs of their tenants, even when uh, they, the tenant took care of the property while they were there. Um, we see a lot of issues with landlords not maintaining properties, where tenants are in a home or in an apartment, and the, and the landlord just simply isn't doing the things that the law requires them to do. Um, and then, again, just understanding the eviction process. If you find yourself behind on the rent, if you find yourself getting noticed that you're going to be evicted, you need to understand what the process is and, frankly, how quickly it happens here in Arizona. Again, Arizona is very landlord-friendly, and that means that when the eviction process starts, you can find yourself out of the house fairly quickly. So we go over that and really talk to you about what the court process, court process is and uh, the best way to represent yourself and get as much back of that deposit as possible. So if you want to learn more about these uh, landlord-tenant services, particularly the tenant's rights, uh, you can go over to a website. We have tenant.coach. That's the actual website. Into any You are in any browser. Just go to tenant.coach, and uh, you'll see some information there as far as what we're offering to, for tenants and how you can set up a consultation and talk to me and uh, help you get things back on track. So that's going to do it for today's video. Appreciate you watching.